Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to download and install and set up Genie Voice Command for ZBrush. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is go to my website which is genievoicecommand.com and then go over here to the trial versions. Now I have two different trial, two different types of trial versions. There's one for Maya Autodesk and there's one for ZBrush. This video is for installing ZBrush, so click on ZBrush trial versions. And in this, on this page, you'll find two different versions. There's one for 2019 and there's one for 2020. I'm just going to show you how to install 2020. The process is pretty much almost identical for 2019. So very first thing you need to do is you need to read the license agreement. Not while I'm scrolling. I don't think anybody could read that fast, but take your time. Read through the license. Make sure you agree to it because you have to agree to it before it will allow you to download. So then just click download and then now I'm going to go to where I da my downloads folder is and so after it downloads it will be in your downloads folder or wherever you normally receive your downloads when you download stuff off of the internet. Okay now Genie Voice Command is only for PCs and it's only for PCs running Windows, Windows 7 through Windows 10. Now uh, just it's easiest just all you have to do is double click on it and it will say you know it'll say do you sure you want to do this and you click yes now if it doesn't allow you to do that you might have to I'm gonna close this you might have to right mouse click on it and run as administrator and the same thing is going to open up because I can do it either way um, but your particular version of Windows might be a little bit different Windows 8, Windows 10 might install slightly different. You might have to run it as administrator. So usually right mouse click on it and run it as administrator. So I'm just going to click yes. It's just giving you that little warning to click yes. And now this is a setup wizard. Now it's best to have ZBrush closed when you run the setup wizard before you finish the setup wizard. So if you had it open, it's best to close it. If you had it open, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would still install, but it wouldn't show up in your Z plugins palette. You would have to close uh, ZBrush and restart it. That's the only real difference. And so I just find it's better just to tell people just have ZBrush closed when you install it. So it's a little less confusing. Okay, so you click next, and here's the same. Uh, here's the license again. You know, read through it before you accept it. Click next. And now it's asking you for the password or the key. So uh, come back to the to the place, and here's the key right here. So just copy and paste it. So highlight it, copy it, come back here, paste it, and click next. Okay. Now this is asking you where to install it. It goes inside your Pixel Logic folder, and it's going to be. In uh, or the program files pixel logic folder, you got to find your Z plugin uh, 64 folder, and this kind of gives you an example. Of, normally, it's on your C drive, um, program files, pixel logic. This is the year, the version. You know, sometimes your version might have a dot um, one or dot two or three or dot one point one, something like that. It just depends on the, the version that you're running, um, but yeah, I definitely need the 2020. Um, and then you find your Z startup and your Z plugin. See, it's grayed out so that you can't go until you find that Z plugin 64 folder. You can't continue. So you click the browse button. It should start you in the Pixel Logic folder. Uh, you can should be highlighted. You just have to double click on that. Find your version. If we were installing 2019 and you wanted to install it in the newest version of 2019. Um, on my computer it was 2019.1 so I had an older version 2019 I could install if I had Z, if I was installing ZBrush 2019 uh, for Genie Voice Command I could install it in both but I'd have to install them separately you know but I'm installing 2020 so I just double click on 20 um, and then you got to find the Z startup there's the startup. I could either double click on that or I could expand it clicking on that. And then you just need to find Z plugin 64. Now you can either double click on it or you can just click on it. Uh, you have to have it selected. So you, once you see it up here, you're, you're good to go. See, I could have double clicked on it and it would just expand it 
and that's fine too. Click OK, and now here we have the correct uh, path to where we want to install it. And you click Next. Now this is where you can give it a different name. Uh, the folder that's going to appear in your All Programs folder, you can give it a different name if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Click Next. I don't care to create a desktop shortcut. Just click Next and then click Install. This tells you where, you know, it's just giving you say, this is where you're installing it and this is the folder name. Okay, you just click Install. Okay, it's done installing. And you just click Finished. And now I'm going to start ZBrush. And I'm going to pause the video while it starts just to save time. Okay, ZBrush has started. Let me close that. Let me close that. Okay, we're almost done with the setup. Okay. Now, uh, it's really super simple. You have to do just like two more little things and you're done. So come up here to your Z plugin palette and you'll notice there's a new plugin, Genie Voice Command. Just expand that. There's only three little things in here. I have another video that goes over the slider and how to use it. Um, but this is just to install it and get everything working in, in this video. Um, there's a button to, the first button is to start Genie Voice Command. That's how you normally would start the program. But we need to set a hotkey for the second button down here. This is press to repeat last voice command. We need to set up a hotkey for that. Otherwise, Genie Voice Command won't work. Okay? So, by default, the, the default hotkey for Genie Voice Command is Alt-G. So you need to set it to Alt-G. Um, so it's real easy to do. All you have to do is hover your mouse over it, hold down the control key, your alt key, and then left mouse click on the button. I just clicked on it and then release the alt and the G key and then hold down the alt key and the G key. And there you go. It's telling us that where it says press to repeat last voice command period alt G. We've just set the hot key. Now when you close ZBrush, it will ask you, and I'm going to go to here to close it, it's going to say, do you want to save changes uh, to the startup hotkey file before closing? Click yes. Once you do that, you won't have to set the hotkey again. It will remember that hotkey so you don't have to set it every time you restart ZBrush. Now I'm just going to hit cancel because I want to make sure everything is working right now. So I'm going to do a quick little test just to make sure that everything is working. Now, I'm going to start the program by clicking on this, and then I'm going to ask it, once it says that it's listening, for what time it is. I do that all the time when I start it, simply because the very first time you start the program for each session, you know, when you click this button to start it, or if you restart it, because um, uh, there's a restart, reset button on the user interface if you need to restart it for some reason. Every time you either restart Genie Voice Command or you start it through through here or if you created a desktop icon, there's always a slight delay between when you say the very first command and Genie Voice Command responds to it, just for the first one. After that, it will respond much faster. So I usually just ask what time it is. Because um, you can ask what time it is or you can say ask what is the date and it will it will respond to that. Um, I usually ask just what time it is because it's quick and it's easy and and the voice will tell you what time it is. And then after it does that, the program will run much faster. And it's only on the first one. So there's just that little delay on the first one. Okay. <laughs> A long explanation. Okay, so here we go. Genie voice command trial version. Voice control ready for Z brush twenty twenty. I am listening. What time is it? 5.28 p.m. Okay, so now I can test it out and see if it's working. Sphere 3D. Edit. Make poly mesh. Poly frame line. Front. Um, let's see. Clay. Rake, clay, chrome, 
Red wax, red clay, red wax, freehand, standard. Left, right, front. Okay, everything appears to be working just fine. Um, you know, so everything is done. And like I said, when you go to close the program, it will ask you, you know, I, when you go to close ZBrush, if you hadn't already saved, um, it, you know, it will ask you, do you want to save the new startup hotkeys? You know, that thing, you know, and just click yes. And then that's the only time you should ever have to do that. Um, you can change the hotkey. Um, hold on. You can change the hotkey to a different hotkey if you really want to. Uh, I have another video that shows how to do it. It's really easy. Um, you already know part of it, which is coming in here and setting this hotkey to whatever you want. But then you need to set the hotkey in the user interface. And I have another video that shows how to do that. It's really super simple. Um, but that's for another video. I'm trying to keep this video really quick. So if you use Alt-G for something else, or you have another plugin that's using Alt-G, um, you know, you can set it to like Alt K or something else, you know. Um, and like I said, I have another video that shows how to set the hotkey if you decide to set it to a different hotkey. And then once you set it um, in the user interface, as soon as you set it, it will remember the last hotkey that you set um, in the user interface for Genie Voice Command. Yeah, and like I said, then you have to come back in here and you have to set it. Like say if I want it, I'll, then you have to set the same hotkey in here just like we said, this Alt-G. It's really super easy. So awesome. So uh, hopefully you'll you'll download it, you'll like it, it you know, um, and then you'll end up buying it. <laughs> That's the whole point. And hopefully you'll really enjoy it because I, it, I really find that it helps me work a lot faster and and you'll hopefully you'll like it. So thank you. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.